mambo vipi naitwa Rogens karibu tena kwenye tutorial leo tutajifunza digisi gani ya kutengeneza uploading upload script ya PHP kwa mfano unaweza kuona hapa tuki demonstrate nikija hapa nikachagua hii image tunakuwa tunaweza kuiupload kwenye local directory ya 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 folder kwenye folder lakini pia tunaiupload tunaiupublish kwenye database nikisha upload hapo unaona hapa tunapata access ya upload ziko to success ina maana upload imekamilika na tukija kwenye database ambayo ya database yetu ni ziko ni uploads ambayo ndo tunailinki hapa then tukija sehemu ya uploaded utagundua kwamba hii image ambayo tumeiupload ndo hii hapa ambayo ipo hapa sasa hivi then tukija pia kwenye local directory pale tu upload ya badge na then pia unaona zipo so tuta tutajifunza kwa pamoja ni jinsi gani ya kutengeneza system ya hivi a to z nadhani pia utaenjoy na utafurahi lakini pia kama unahitaji kujifunza nadhani kuna mambo utayafahamu hapa kama uko unajifunza php au there are some things you need to know more about php okay so what you're going to do ni tunatumia visual studio code na ninatumia zamp kwanza ukija ku php inapashwa uwe na na zamp lakini pia inapaswa uwe na na, na na Apache kama kama server lakini MySQL kama database. Kwa hiyo Apache inatusaidia kurani uh, kurani PHP lakini MySQL inatusaidia ku make kutengeneza database ambazo ni local database. So utakuwa na mimi A to Z na nadhani utajifunza mambo mengi. Okay? So what you are going to do baada ya kuwa na ZAMP na kuhakikisha Apache na MySQL ziko running nadhani unaona hapa ukiandi uki uki stop zinaboenza stop start then nina click start zinaanza zinaanza kurun so nahakikisha zinafanya kazi hii under under port 80443 hii ni 3306 so file ambazo ni za PHP huwa tunazistore kwenye directory ya ZAMP then kwenye HT docs umeona HT docs nikija hapa hizi ni folders zote ambazo nazifanyia kazi za PHP kwa sasa ambayo tutaitumia folder ni ya index.php. So nita, nitafuta hizi action.php na directory za PHP ambazo zikuwa zinafanya hii 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 ifanye kazi. Then tunaanza ku design kila kitu from scratch. So ni refresh hapa tutaona amna kitu kwamba these pages are not found. Okay? So we shall be back to Visual Studio Code na hapa ndo Visual Studio Code. Tukija tunaona tu hii ya Bootstrap lakini pia na, na, na default page ya uploads ambayo itakwenda kusaidia kupokea uploads zetu ambazo tunazi-upload, okay? So what you are going to do here ni kwamba uh, mpaka sasa hivi nadhani utakuwa unafahamu HTML na CSS ambayo itakusaidia kustyle uh, design yako kwa haraka zaidi. So mimi natumia uh, CSS pamoja na, na, na JavaScript uh, nani ya framework ambayo ipo ipo kwenye CSS so what ambayo ipo kwenye bootstrap so tutaanza ku design code the thing the thing ambacho tutaanza nacho ni kwamba uh, tunaanza ku design user interface ambayo itakuwa ni ni ile button ya kumsaidia mtu ku upload image okay so what you are going to do now ni kwamba ni kutengeneza hiyo uh, hiyo 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 button pamoja na hiyo input ambayo itamsaidia mtu ku upload image so nitakuja hapa nitakliki Okay, sorry. So I'm um, building it again the hapa. Then ta click hapa to tengeneza index.php. Okay. Then tutatumia utatumia utabonyeza shift na na namba moja au exclamation mark. Uki click enter utapata hii default uh, utapata default script ya HTML. Then hapa nitaandika kwa mfano upload ambayo ni title ambayo inapatikana kwenye 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 tabs, okay? Upload. Okay? Okay, upload. Then kwa fanta kuja refresh page yetu hapa, uh, tu refresh hapa, utagundua hamna kitu lakini hapa imetuandikia upload hapa juu. Hii upload ambayo iko hapa ndio hii ambayo tumeiupdate huku hapa hivi. Then baada ya hapa tuta link na, na CSS ambapo tutasema link. Okay? Link. Then tuta link na style sheet ambayo sisi tunatumia Bootstrap. Then directory yake ni Bootstrap. Ukiangalia hapa ni Bootstrap slash CSS slash ambao ni tutatumia bootstrap.min.js hapa. So hapa nitaandika kwamba bootstrap slash CSS then then hapa slash bootstrap bootstrap.min dot css okay then mpaka hapa tunakuwa tumesha link na station then kitu ambacho tunakifanya tunatengeneza container ambayo itasaidia kuonyesha kuonyesha muonekano mzuri wa wa nani yetu wa design yetu ambayo itakuwa ni user interface so tutatumia dot container 
mboni hizi ni, ni classes za bootstrap okay okay container okay then hapo tutatengeneza bit row then tutatengeneza column and need to three okay so hizi nitaz copy three times na lengo langu ni kwamba ile form itakuwa ipo middle so nitazigawanya so unabonyeza shift rt na down arrow three times unapata hii lakini hii hapa itakuwa na six na mgawanyo wa hizi column kwenye bootstrap ni na kuwa ni 12 so ukichukua 3612 zinakuwa zimetimia kwa hiyo zinakuwa ni responsive kwenye devices zote okay then hapa tukishafika hapa tunatengeneza form then action inakuwa ni post okay then kwenye action hapa hapa tutatumia action ambayo tutaitumia ni Okay let me isije ka confuse hapa. Ah uh, hapa ambayo tutatumia tutatengeneza file ya action.php ambayo itakuwa na backend code za 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 nani? Ambayo itakuwa na backend code za za kumanage script yetu ifanye kazi. Then hapa tutatengeneza label, tutatengeneza label.label label, label control ambayo ni class. Okay? Then oh no 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 no, no. sorry hapa ni dot hapa label dot okay yeah yeah this one then hapa tutasema ni file file upload okay class okay class hapa ingebidi ija auto type lakini anyway what if hapa ni file then ni class uh, class class hii hapa ni label control so kwa kwa hiyo haijaka hapa inabidi tu paste manually okay label control then hapa nitaandika upload upload file hii ni kama label sasa yenyewe kwamba mtu anaonaje kwenye kwenye user interface then tukija hapa ah uh, hii container inapasha tuweke margin bottom margin top so mt is equal to 5 Okay. Yeah, so na na hapa tutaandika input. So input ambayo tunaitumia kwenye upload input inakuwa input type type inakuwa ni file, okay? This one. Input type file name tutaita upload. Okay? Upload out the file. Let's say file. Okay? Then aina placeholder, ya aina. Labda tutatengeneza class is equal to form control Okay then tuna tuna close hapa then tutengeneza button ya kusubmit all these data okay then tutasema button button type is equal to submit hapa submit then name name hapo itakuwa ni upload Okay then tutaweka styling ya hii button yetu Okay okay so styling ya hii button tutatengeneza class Okay class is equal to then itakuwa ni btn then itakuwa ni btn dark itakuwa na rangi ya nyeusi au utatikeka primal yeah it looks very well primal then width width itakuwa 100 yani urefu ilingane na nani italingana na hizi na hizi na hizi input okay then tukishamaliza hapa then hii hapa kwenye kwenye input tuweke mt mb margin b is equal to 2 iwe iache kana nafasi kidogo kwa upande wa chini then tukirudi hapa tukirefresh hapa umeona tumepata hii hapa so nadhani inaonekana vizuri kwa ambacho tunakuja ukifanya hapa ni ku ni kuhakikisha kwamba ni kuhakikisha kwamba tukiklik hapa tukachagua image image tukiklik upload iweze kuja kwenye database lakini pia iweze kuja kwenye local directory ya ya nani ya upload hapa tuweze kuona hiyo image ambayo tunaiupload hapa okay so baada ya kutengeneza user interface ambayo ndio hii hapa ambacho tutakifuata sasa uh, ni kutengeneza ni kutengeneza ni kutengeneza backend ambayo backend tulisema tu action yake itakuwa ni, ni action.php then action.php ndo ndo tutaitumia hapa Let me see if we are recording here. Okay. Yeah. So 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 action.php ndo tunakuja kuitumia. So ta create another file here. 
na hii file inabidi iwe iwe hapa nje ambayo ni action.php .php then kwa kweli itakuwa ni, 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 ni single file ya php ina maana tuta, tutatengeneza uh, open tag ya ya, ya php lakini hatutaifunga kwa sababu ni full script ya php so tuta click hivi tutatengeneza php then tutaanza kwanza kwa kufetch data ambazo zipo hivi tu ya upload image then baada ya ku upload tutai tutai connect na database kwa sababu connect na database baada ya ku upload inakuwa ni very easy so ukiangalia hapa kwenye button type tumeset button type uh, button name atukuweka sorry then to push the name is equal to upload let's say to it upload upload okay then button type is equal to upload then tutakuja hapa kwenye script sorry hapa kwenye action.php then tutatumia if statement kuona kama je mtumiaji ame click button okay so tutasema if tutatumia is set a uh, super global function if is set then dollar then the post okay then tutasema hapa ni upload i upload tunaitoa hapa kwenye index.php kwenye name ya, ya button upload okay then tutasema if kama inafanya kazi then hapa tuta fetch tuta fetch data za fetch data from the form okay tuta fetch data from the form so data ambayo tuta, tuta fetch kwanza ni in ya upload uh, before you go on kwenye ku upload file files kwenye php kuna kuwa na extension hapa inaitwa ink type okay ink ink type ink type is equal to inakuwa ni multi party multi party slash okay multi party slash form data okay hii ndio inasaidia kufanya uploads kwenye php so itabidi extension iwepo hapa uh, unless otherwise tuta script yetu itafanya kazi so tukishafikia huko tukasend kila kitu kikawa poa hapa tume tujamalizia if is set which should be like if is set then baada ya hapo start 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 fetch input so the creative variable ya file is equal to okay then tutatumia super global ya files okay hii hapa then tuta fetch uh, input ya ya image tuta image ambayo imesubmitiwa na mtu ambaye anataka ku upload so image ambayo tumeipa name ya file so ina maana hapa itakuwa ni file okay then tukishaweka hivi tuta click okay save so tukija ku upload picha au 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 au, au file kwenye kwa kutumia php tunakuwa tunahitaji input au au tuna component tano za image ambapo kuna size ya picha kuna type au aina ya picha then kuna jina la picha then tunaangalia kama kuna shida yoyote au tatizo lolote wakati wa ku upload then tunakuwa tuna temporary name jina lile la ambalo litakwepo ili baadaye tuibadilishie ikiwa online iwe ina ina jina lingine so hizo hizo extension zote inabidi tusipate sasa kwa kuzipata njia gani unazo kazifahamu kwa urahisi hapo kwa click print r okay okay click print r hapa then tuka, tuka print variable ya file okay variable ya file okay then tuki, tukija hapa kwa mfano hapa tukija hapa tukaweka image tuka submit tuka upload ina maana tuta, tutapata tuta return associative array ambayo inatuonyesha hizo 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 input ambazo nakwambia so let's say ni check image nikaiweka hapa then tuka upload uh, inabidi hapa to print associative array so there is somewhere somewhere there is somewhere problem name is equal to upload multi party Okay, my platform data action.php file name file okay so action.php if is set post upload uh -huh. file then print out file so okay we should get associative array here why is it not coming there is a problem somewhere if is set post upload okay so we should check here before name is equal to upload if is set action.php method post and type is equal to multi party i think this is not okay hapa nimeweka multi party multi party i think this is it okay let me see so 
back to back here okay if it's set to submit to chukwe easy picture okay then submit okay and defend array file where so where is undefined oh, okay and defend array file this is multi party okay, if we this is multi party then action with php method and type okay yeah so then everything works well now so let me try again so if was uh to submit then up at refresh folder okay so test then same yeah umona hapa inatuletea array do you see array ambayo ni associative array ambayo inatunisha hizo parameter ambazo nimesema ni tano then tutangalia hapa kuna name then kuna size ambayo kuna kuna name kuna type kuna temporary name then kuna error lakini pia kuna size haijaandika lakini ndio hii hapa size kwa hivyo ni vitu vitano ambavyo tunavihitaji wakati wa kuupload image kwa kutumia php so unaweza ka print uh, print a uh, variable ya, ya input ambayo imesubmitiwa kutoka kwenye form ili uweze kuzipata hizo nani kuzipata hizo parameter tano then baada hizo parameter ukishazipata ndio unazotumia sasa kuzifanyia kazi kama ni tutakavyofanya pamoja hapa so at the next stage ni kwamba baada ya kuzipata hizo hizi hizi associative array kuzipata hizi parameter tutaanza kuzifanyia kazi kwenye action.php hapa then nadhani nita nita comment hii hapa print all na tutakuja tuta tutatengeneza variable ya variable ya hizo parameter so nitakuja nitasema file file name is equal to dollar sign file okay okay so e file e file ina ina verify hii variable hii variable ndio hii hapa lakini thamani ya hii ndio input ambayo tunaitoa kwenye form hapa then hapa tutasema name okay then tutakuja kwenye file dollar sign file size okay then tutasema is equal to dollar sign file then tutasema hapa hapa tutasema size okay so yeah so tutaenda tena tusema dollar file type is equal to dollar sign file then type ambayo type hapa itakuwa ni type hiyo hiyo type ambayo tumeipata kwenye kwenye array so tukija hapa tena tukasema dollar sign file temporary name so mimi napenda kuiandika hivi temporary name nitaikumbuka is equal to dollar sign file so ivi ivi then hapa unaandika hivi tem name nadhani ukitaka kuzijua fresh kuzikumbuka poa una print hapa hapa ukicheka kwenye browser unaona so nadhani umeona ile ilivyoandikwa tem name then hapa ni error then hii ni size so zilivyo hivi ndo tunazitengenezea variable based on there okay ambayo imebaki hapo nadhani ni dollar sign file error error ndo bado so error error is equal to dollar sign file okay error okay so this is it okay so baada ya kutengeneza ya kutengeneza hii 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 nani hizi variable tunaanza kuzifanyia kazi na ambacho tunaanza kuzifanyia kazi kwanza tunaanza ku detect je image ambayo imekuwa uploaded ina extension ipi ni png ni jpg ni jpeg ni aina gani ni zip file kwa sababu tutatumia file extension tutatengeneza variable nyingine ambayo ni file extension then tutasema is equal to explode ambayo ni global au global function ya php explode then tutatumia ah uh, tutatumia hii nani uh, okay then tutasema file name okay file name do you see then baada ya hapa tuta close up here then hapa tutakuja kutengeneza actual extension then tuna 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 transform uh, input ambayo kama ni jpg jpeg na png ni P, ni jpg kama ni capital letter tuirudisha kwenye small letter ili iweze kufanya kazi vizuri ikitokea mtu amesubmit na capital letter alafu tumeset small letter itazingua yani zikipishana kwa hiyo mostly tunataka string nani string zote ziwe small letter ambapo tutasema tutengeneza variable hapo file actual okay actual extension 
extension actual actual extension then tutasema hivi is equal to tutatengenezea string to row ambayo ni string to row ambayo ni, ni ni function ambayo ipo huku huku so tutasema hivi then tutaweka na tutaongezea na 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 nani na, 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 na function nyingine ya and and with then tuna tuna, tuna include a uh, e file extension ambayo ni file extension ya 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 image ambayo imekuwa submitted so tutasema file extension do you see file extension then tuta close up here okay then baada ya hapa tunatengeneza uh, tunatengeneza allowed allowed file types so i need to apa iv apa okay so hapa tunatengeneza allowed file type so hapa ina maana hapa hapa tunakuja kutengeneza kuchagua kwamba watu waweze ku upload file za design gani so sisi tutaweka png jpg png jpeg png pamoja na 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 nani na, na zip file so nitatengeneza kwamba allowed ambao ni ni, ni nani ni ni hii ni ni variable is equal to tutengeneza array ambayo itakuwa ina, inaonyesha kila kitu ambacho inatuonyeshea zile taarifa ambazo tunazipata then sisi tunataka png okay kwa maana mtaweza ku upload file za png then aweze ku upload j jpeg okay then mtaweza ku upload mtaweza ku upload zip file zip okay then mtaweza hata tukisema tukisema aweze ku upload hata hata pdf ya pdf okay i think pdf very well na pin na jpeg jpg ndio tumalizane na so another one itakuwa ni jpg so jpg okay yeah so after here tutaanza kutumia for statement kuangalia all these conditions kuna kuzivalidate so what you're going to start ni kwamba tuna check if kama hiyo uh, hiyo data ambayo imekuwa submitted hiyo picha iliyo iliyo tumwa kama uh, ile extension yake ya dot ni ipo kati moja wapo kati ya hizi kama itakuwepo script itaendelea kufanya kazi kama haitakuwepo basi mtumiaji atapokea fa, atapokea taarifa pale kwamba i say hii file atuihitaji au atutaji file ya zani so tutatumia if in array tunaangalia kama 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 hiyo file ambayo imetumwa ipo kwenye array na array ndio hii hapa around then tutaanza kwanza na file actual extension okay file actual extension then tunaweka allowed allowed ambayo ni array okay so tukiangalia hivi tunaangalia hapo kama ipo je kama ipo tutaendelea ku run script ambayo tutaiweka hapa kama haipo tutaandika else statement then tuta, tuta echo then tutasema Uh, this uh, this you cannot not upload this type okay this type of a file okay so aki upload aki jaribu ku upload ambayo haipo kwenye array hapa itamwambia you cannot upload this type of a file okay then ikitokea ame upload ambayo ipo kwenye kwenye hiyo nani then tutaweka if statement nyingine hapa uh, if statement nyingine ambayo if statement tunaangalia kama kuna changamoto yoyote au tatizo lolote wakati wa upload image then tutatumia ile variable ya, ya error okay then if, if error uh, is equal is equal, equal to zero Zero ni ziko tu amna changamoto. Moja ndo kuna changamoto. So kama iziko tu zero uh, na ni tukipata response ya zero na maana amna shida yoyote. Tukipata zero changamoto ya moja ni kwamba kuna changamoto. So ukitokea uh, amepata response ya one ambayo itakuwa ni ina, ina error atapata hii atapata hii hii nani hii message. So tunaweza kusema echo. Okay, this is my echo there was an error while uploading this file okay yeah so this file atapata hiyo lakini if there is no any error ata progress to another stage ambo another stage tutengeneza if statement tena ambo tunaangalia size ya image ambo okay oh sorry okay this is the primary key 
Then itakuwa na auto increment kwamba iwe na inaweza kuongezeka yenyewe. Then hapa tutasema uploaded uploaded file uploaded uploaded file then itakuwa ni variable character variable character then itakuwa ni 100 characters then itakuwa not no okay not no then hapa tuna close bracket kwa sababu ni moja tu hatuwezi kuongezea then tunaweka hivi then baada ya hapa yeah so tuna click go tunatengeneza database wow database uh, table iko tayari kwenye upload tutorial muona that be hapa upload file so tuki upload image kule inabidi iende kwenye local file huko uh, huko hapa ionekane lakini pia na kwenye database tukija tu ione hapa hapa hivi so tusarudi kwenye script yetu tutatengeneza database connection ambapo tutakuja hapa tutasema create database connection okay connection then baada create database connection tutasema server tusema server name ziko tu ziko tu local host okay ziko tu local host then username username ziko tu root okay root then password ah uh, password au nikisema pass na ziko tu ah uh, kwenye local host hatuna password so tunaweza kaacha blank hivyo then hapa kwenye database name tunaandika db name okay ziko tu kumbuka kule pas ile database yetu tumeita upload upload tutorial let me see let me check it ee ni upload upload tutorial when ni copy hapa so database name ni upload tutorial ukikosea hapo make sure uh, script yako itafanya kazi so upload tutorial this is our database name then tuta click hapa yes like this then baada hapa tutengeneza connection connection connecting connect to the database okay then kwenye connect to the database tunahitaji variable ya con variable con you can use any variable unaitaka wewe mwenyewe uh, is equal to my sql my my s my s no sql uh, i connecting then apa tutasema my sql i connecting tutasema server name okay server name then tutasema username okay then tutasema pass no 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 password pass then tutasema db name okay then db name then connection ya database inakuwa clear then tunaweza kacheck kama kama data connection ipo then tukasema if double if no database connection no no database connecting no database connection tunaweza tukasema echo okay tunaweza tukasema echo um, no no connection no connection available okay available then the con tuka concatenate na 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 function ya mysql era mysql i connect era ambayo itasaidia kutuonyesha actual what is the error changamoto ni nini kama ni mtandao kama ni, ni script itakwambia then baadaye tutasema die kuruhusu uh, hii script stop running yani isiendelee kufanya kazi okay then nadhani mpaka hapa uh, database connection iko tayari then tutarudi hapa kwenye script yetu hapa ambayo ni ya uh, nani then tuta tutasema comment hapa send data into into the database okay into the database so tutasema tutatumia sql sql is equal to insert insert into into database uh, into for into table ambayo ni a database ya upload file so to it uploads eh uh -huh. then uh, upper value ni upload upload uploaded file uploaded 
wala ni file a hizi hapa of course ninazitoa hapa hii uploaded file ukiangalia kwenye database to hii hapa uploads mona table ni uploads then kwenye table no 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 yeah table ni uploads lakini kwenye uploaded file ndo name of the columns column hii hapa uploaded file ndo column lakini table name ni upload uploaded file hii ni ni ni, ni, ni row ni column ni row the name of row column yani ambapo image yetu tunataka ikae ndo hii hapa ndo nimeitoa then tutasema value values val, value values then nitaweka tena brackets then tutaweka hii hapa tutaweka sasa hii hapa hii value ndo tunataka tu tu upload hapa hii value ambayo ni new name Okay so ina maana hapa ukija ku upload nani ukija ku upload kwenye nani kwenye database ambacho una upload ni file new name ambayo inakuwa generated tayari then hapo tutatengeneza query ambayo ni my my sql query my sql query tutaweka tuta, tuta tu parameters ambayo ni connection to the database afi ya pili ni sql 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 okay na okay, tayari then tukisha run hizi zote itabidi sasa mtu huyu mtumiaji arudi kwenye 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 nani kwenye kwenye main kwenye main dashboard ambayo ni ya user interface so nitaweka hii ya header hapa so sababu hapa sasa hivi haina umuhimu so back to to hapa hivi tukifanyia testing tuki refresh okay tufanyie testing inabidi image tukaiweka tuka hapa ya ambayo labda let's say tutumie hii saa tuki upload inabidi kwenye database hapa ya iwepo lakini pia na kwenye log file ambapo ni hapa tuone hiyo saa so the we test tukisema hivi shop okay amona hapa tumekosea spelling my my sqli connect line 10 and code error value not is not okay so line kumi kwenye action.php kuna changamoto kidogo utakuja hapa unaangalia line 10 okay umeona hapa ma uzuka my sql okay hapa baada hii nimeifanya variable sorry hii ni function nimeweka nimeifanya variable that's why inagoma so nikirudi hapa nikisha solve ki refresh tena uh, tukaja tuka select saa again let me check it this clock okay hii hapa then tuki tuki click hapa tuki click upload umeona upload is got success tukija kwenye database utagundua kwamba ki refresh hii hapa nimekuja hiyo 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 image hii hapa load line uh, inaishia na 16664 so tukirud back kwenye directory umeona hii hapa imekuja kwa sasa mpaka hapa unakuwa umesha umesha tengeneza script ambayo ina ina upload files kwenye database lakini pia ina upload files kwenye kwenye local directory kama kwenye folder so kama ni ni web app au kuna taarifa fulani unahitaji mtu aweze kuzinani kuzi kuzi pa, kuzi submit kutoka kwenye form kama hivi unaweza ukatumia njia hii umeona kwa hapo unaweza kutumia hii njia kwa kuandika form nani mbalimbali uh, taarifa mbalimbali kama username lakini kwa kutumia file ku submit file nadhani ndio inakuwa ni changamoto kidogo nadhani pia hapa hapa unaweza ukaongeza video unaweza ukasubmit video hapa hapa kwa kutumia hivi pale kwenye array arrays tunaongezea mp4 kwa mfano hapa kwenye arrays hapa kwenye array uh, hapa tulipoweka array hapo naweka na mp4 kwamba in case of mp4 ikiwa ikiwepo hapa kwa variable hii video iweze kuwa submitted so it's like the same concept kwa mfano hii tuna design e-commerce website i'm just designing this e-commerce website so hizi taarifa zote nimezifetch kutoka kwenye database na bado eh, inaendelea ku create umeona uka click product yote ina print hapa id so kutumia hii ID tutafetch data kutoka kwenye database based on this ID 3 then tutapachika hapa taarifa kama unaweza kuona so nadhani thank you very much for watching this video nadhani a lot of things umejifunza pia kama una struggle na PHP unaweza kuwa na check to na support nadhani it's a nice language and powerful language kwa sababu uh, in a power most 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 powerful services like Facebook uh, of course bado ina nguvu sana PHP though watu wanasema ita, ita vanishes within some years lakini I, I, I still trust this network 
So you see uh, this is my e-commerce website uh, under PHP lakini nadhani pia umeona jinsi gani ya kufanya ya ku upload files. So kama unatengeneza dashboard ya mteja au anaweza ku upload image, ku change image kufanyaje? Nadhani inakuwa ni rais upload upload success. Tukirefresh hapa tutagundua image imeongezeka nyingine hii hapa ya pili lakini pia tukija kwenye local directory umeona imeongezeka hii hapa na hizi zinakuwa na extension ya load line hii ndio niliyokuambia kwamba hapa kwenye string hapa ukiacha empty inakuwa ionyeshi jina la lakini ukiweka hiyo jina huku inakuwa ina print jina la brand okay so kama ni mteja wako unamtengenezea unahitaji iwe picha zote au feli zote zote zina extension ya jina lake ndio jinsi ya kusaidia hivyo thank you very much naitwa rogens thank you for watching let's meet into another video